All right, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. I'm so happy. All right, so without further ado, the brother about to take a shahada. So you know what the, you know what it means to take your shahada? Yeah. It means that you are, Allah is the greatest. It means that the grill is closed. No, the kitchen is, the whole kitchen is closed, yeah. No problem. So it means that you believe sincerely in your heart that there is no God but the one and only God, Allah. Allah is the name of the creator of everything. You believe that. You believe that. And then the second part of it is that you believe that Allah has sent Numerous messengers, prophets and messengers. He created our father Adam. He sent Noah. He sent Abraham. He sent Moses, Aaron, Jesus, and the final prophet and messenger, Prophet Muhammad. Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. And the people during the times of those prophets and messengers, they had to follow those prophets. So people during the time of Jesus had to follow Jesus. People during the time of Moses had to follow Moses, so on and so forth. Now we're living in the end days. The time when Prophet Muhammad conveyed the message. So we have to follow Prophet Muhammad. And when you follow him, you go to paradise. So you believe that he's the last messenger sent by God. You're hesitant. No, because I was confused. I was confused. I was confused. I was confused. It's okay. When you, be, when you take a shahada, you can learn more and more and more. If you follow me on TikTok, I, I'm doing lessons on TikTok. You believe both? You believe these two things? Mm -hmm. I'm blessed. So now you're ready. So when you take your shahada, which is you're declaring what's inside of your heart, you're bearing witness to and you're testifying what's inside of your heart. When you do that, do that declaration, all of your sins will be forgiven. All of your sins will be forgiven. It'll be as if you are a newborn baby. And because you were Christian before that, you had followed the previous me message before accepting this message, the final prophet, all of your sins won't just be forgiven, but it'll also be good deeds. And you'll be like a newborn baby, you'll be fresh. Like the day that you were born. Are you ready? All right. So I'll say it in Arabic, you repeat after me in Arabic, and then afterwards I'll say it in English. Saying it in English is enough. But if you want to say it in Arabic, okay. I'll try. So, Ashhadu, Ashhadu, Allah ilaha, Allah ilaha, Illa Allah, Illa Allah, Wa Ashhadu, Anna, Muhammadan. Muhammadan Mu Ha Ma Dan Rasulullah Rasul Rasul Allah I bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship but Allah and I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Allahu Akbar. You're Muslim. Both of you are Muslim. Yeah? My brother, my brother, my brother. My sister, I can't, I can't touch you. Yeah. Out of respect to you. My brother, my brother, my brother, my brother. The, sister, the sister that you saw just now that walked out, the, the girl with the red braids, she Muslim. She, she became Muslim a couple of months ago. So inshallah, we put you guys into connections. You guys watch my videos. I'm going to start a new series for Muslim sisters. How they can learn Islam, so on and so forth. Um, and yeah, welcome to Islam. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Piece of advice I say, you're sinning, just make sure as much as you sin, as much as you repent. Okay. Now you have a direct relationship with the creator of the heavens and the earth, the creator of the bees, the seas, and the seven, or the bees, the trees, and the seven seas. Everything, 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 everything. If you need anything, put your hand up, pray to God. Exactly. So now the next step for you guys to do 
is to perform what is called a ghusl, a bath. Which is that you make an intention that God, I'm purifying my body, myself for you. And then you just get into the water, make sure the water reaches every part of your body, your scalp, everything. And then you're pure, you're clean. And then little by little, step by step, you start to learn how to pray. Because when you, we pray five times a day. Whenever you pray, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said that if a person lived near a river and he took a shot, took a bath five times a day, what would you say about that person? He's mad clean. He's mad clean, right? And the companions, exactly, the companions said the same thing. He said, the way that the uh, that the that the river is for that person in in, in regards to purifying him, his dirt or purifying his uh, his uh, impurities. That's how the five prayers are in regards to our sins. So when we pray five times a day, our sins are being forgiven. So if you pray the first prayer and you committed a sin, if you pray the second prayer, it forgive, it forgive those sins, so on and so forth. All right? Um, and you'll learn more. Now, the next step is hopefully, I've been, it's been a whole year, and I've been seeing you two together. And, Third year together? Third year. Oh, Might as well get married. I've been married for four years. I've only I, I knew my wife only like well I, well I knew my wife when I when I wanted to get married to her. I knew her for like a couple of days. We had a mutual friend. A girl that I that I grew up with was her friend. And I was interested in my wife. Right? But then um, it took us a while to get it took us a while to get married, right? You two have known each other for three years. In high school. Right? So, inshallah, because in Islam, boyfriend and girlfriend is not something that's permitted. God wants seriousness. You to be responsible because we're not children. Girlfriend and boyfriend is something that children do. Right? They're not really serious. They're not fully committed. They're afraid. They're afraid of responsibilities. So, inshallah, you be a man. You say, you know what? I love this woman. Married, I'm to kill you through good times and bad times. And also, the process of marriage is very simple. Very simple. Well, it's very simple. You don't need to have a lavish wedding and a huge, big a diamond wedding ring. Maybe she may want it though. Maybe. So, that's I mean, you, you, you gotta go. You guys have to you know, communicate. But we'll talk about that. You know, we'll talk so about that. Yeah, yeah, it made sense. So, Alhamdulillah, I don't want to hold you guys up. Let me get your food and then we celebrate. <laughs>